Hey guys, Retro John here, and today we're going to take a look at the Mega Constructs He Man vs. Beast Man set. So, this set has been out for a while, and um, in case you're a little more confused on um, why these two are together and not with uh, different individual Mega Construct characters like Terminator or Star Trek or Futurama, it's because Mega Constructs had decided to branch off and make Masters of the Universe make a construct figures, vehicles and accessories their own separate thing now. And that started with their actual first full Master Universe wave earlier in the year. And this is their continuation and a way to get uh, figures you um, hadn't gotten before from previous releases in a two pack. So uh, these were available at, or still available at Walmart. Most the retail was like ten dollars. I got mine on clearance for five, so I would strongly take a look and uh, see if your Walmart actually has these in. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a pack, take care of the packaging, take a look at the packaging. I can talk, I swear, and see what's going on here. So we have this um, awesome, uh, well, kind of artwork type of thing going where it's the actual toy of He-Man and Beast-Man with this awesome He-Man versus Beast-Man logo. I actually really enjoy that. That's really cool. Um, of course, we have the Mega Constructs logo down here and the Masters of the Universe logo down here. Uh, this is to tell you it's a Pro Builders, which you really aren't building anything. These figures most of the time uh, come pre-built. Uh, and then, of course, we have our two figures um, showcased in this bubble, along with some of the accessories and their stands here on the side. On the back, we have uh, a list of that first wave I referenced, um, which is uh, Evil Lynn, Mossman, Prince Adam, Skeletor, and Stratos. Uh, this is also the previous released uh, Wind Raider that came with uh, He-Man and Skeletor. And, uh, yeah, that's really all we know, need to know here. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the uh, little minifigures inside and even compare them to their previous releases. All right, so something I wanted to point out that I was kind of not aware of is this actually has a little tab up here to help you um, take the figures out. So let's go ahead and open this on camera and see how well this works out. Uh, I'm, of course, going to pull it this way so everything doesn't tip and fall all over the place because that would ruin the review pretty darn quick. And, well, in theory, <laughs> in theory, it would work. Uh, I appreciate the attempt, though. <laughs> okay, so I finally got the figures out of the package. Um, the package was actually um, quite difficult to actually get open. In fact, it looks like I actually forgot to take out a few <laughs> of their accessories. Um... So, the tab idea was an interesting one, but uh, I, I think it could be approved upon. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to get the rest of these accessories out, which I did successfully. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, little figures inside the packaging. So, let's go ahead and take a look at He-Man first. Uh, so, we've had about three different versions of this character in this line. And um, we're going to go ahead and go over the sculpt details and everything first. And as you can see, mine, unfortunately, is not finished painted. I do not have a full uh, cross on his uh, vest. I wish I would have noticed that before I bought him, because they had a ton of these guys. Um, unfortunately, I got him out of town at another Walmart, because my two Walmarts never carry these guys. <laughs> Um, so, let's go ahead and go on, let's see what's going on with this guy. So, he's got this, uh, very visible, um, almost really, uh, yellow orangish hair. We have kind of like this, almost a pearl blue-gray 
type of uh, vest going on with the reds. We've got the uh, yellow bracers and uh, the yellow belt. Uh, we've got his kind of bright brown boots. So we, I'm thinking this is supposed to be the filmation version of He-Man. That's what I'm going to say. Because we've had many different interpretations of He-Man. I think this one is supposed to be the filmation He-Man. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this guy. So his head's on. Everything here is pretty much on a ball joint. Uh, everything just snaps together. Um, so we have his head. It goes all the way around. Like I said, it is on a ball joint, so you could probably take it off. His hair also comes off. Uh, the vest is very rubbery. That will come off with everything else. His arms will go all the way out. They do have a bend at the elbow and swivel at the wrist. Uh, he does have some waist swivel. Uh, his legs will go out that far. You go any far and they will pop off because they are on your ball joint. Uh, his legs will go up that far, so pretty far. Uh, his leg will go back that far, so pretty far. And then we have the bend at the knee. And that is about it with this guy. Uh, we will do Beastman next after we go over He-Man's accessories. So He-Man has come with a few accessories here. Uh, of course, you cannot have He-Man without his power sword. Uh, and all these weapons will fit right in the hand. And the sword will fit right here in the slot if you so wish to uh, do so. Well, there used to be a slot there. <laughs> there it is. I found it. <laughs> so the, the sword will just go right back there. But with this being the Filmation He-Man, he is going to hold on to that sword. Just like that. Uh, he also comes with his battle axe. And there's a nice two-tone colors on these weapons. You got nice, um, kind of like a metallic silver on there, along with a uh, kind of like a dull gray. And his sword is the same. Nice shiny silver for the blade and dull gray there. And then we come to his shield. And this is a handle. This is one of the few pieces you'll have to put together. And you'll just connect it like so. And then it can fit in his hand. His other hand. Like so. And there you go. Now, he also comes with whoops, a base. Now, the difference with this base and the previous bases that we've gotten with the other figures is this is one solid piece, if you couldn't hear. Uh, the other ones were two pieces. You'd put uh, this on top of that and connect them. But no, they went and did the solid one piece uh, deal, which is fine. I'm fine with that. I like that. And then he just stands up like so. That'll give us, lead us right in to Beast Man. Now, I love this Beast Man. Um, I'm not sure if he's my favorite as I go more towards the mini comic, uh, He-Man figures. Um, and we'll take a look at him in just a little bit, but you can obviously tell that this is supposed to be the vintage toy version of Beastman. If you are a He-Man fan, if you are a Master Universe fan, you know that this is supposed to be the vintage Beastman. And it does an incredible job at doing that. I mean, look at the paint job on him. That head paint, uh, the blue here with the red vest, uh, the spike. This is vintage Beastman right here. I absolutely love the fact that they did this. I hope they go the all nine yards and do that with the other figures. I think they did that with Man at Arms. I believe they did with that with Man at Arms. I'm pretty sure they did that with He-Man. We'll take a look. So Beastman has the same articulation as He-Man. Uh, except it's going to be hindered a little bit because of his vest. But you can get some head articulation out of that. Uh, you're not going to make him really go up and down very much. Again, the vest is hindering. But his arms will still go out pretty far. Uh, you can tell that these are not really hindering the articulation. They're not at all. Uh, the waist will still move slightly left to right. Uh, his legs will still go out slightly like so. Move up like that. Move back like that. He's got the hinge joints at the knees. Same with his, um, sorry, his elbows. They have hinges. They will bend and the hands will swivel. And there you go. Now, uh, previous Beastman minifigures only came with a whip. 
This one also comes with a whip, but he's going to come with a lot more accessories. This whip is different, though, as this is actually red. Very similar to, say, a laser whip. So perhaps maybe down the line we'll get some of the movie figures. Paste. That would be cool, right? I think that'd be cool. I mean, they could stay with this He-Man sculpt and this Beast-Man sculpt, right? Just change up the colors a bit. Um, well, we'll discuss that for another time. So, and the whip will fit right in his hand, no problem. And I think it looks really cool. And it's just, a, I think, I believe just a darker shade of red than his armor. So it doesn't really clash too much. But if you don't want the whip, you're tired of Beast Man holding the whip, he has other accessories. So we have a sword. And I believe this is sword is very similar to the one that came with... Uh, probably the same exact sword that came with Castle Corner Skull. And this is cool because it's two colors. You got the black handle here with the nice silver blade. And again, that could just fit right in his hand. Up oh, somewhere. <laughs> Almost lost the lost sword. There we go. All right, there we are. And he comes with one more... Accessory, I'm going to put that down because this is going to be a two-handed accessory for me. He'll come with this halberd. Uh, basically, this is the same um, same one that came with uh, Scareglow. And I think I put it on the wrong way. There we go. This is the same one that came with Scareglow. Um, I'm not sure why he would carry this. Honestly, I've never... In any incarnation, see him carry this, but it looks kind of cool. It's a different weapon that we can arm our beast man with, so I'm not going to complain. So there we go. And of course, beast man will come with his own action figure stand. And this one is purple, so I'm going to say the green ones are going to be for the good guys, and the purple ones are going to be for the bad guys. So we're going to go ahead and stand him right up there. And uh, we'll just stand him right here. And there you go. Now, one more thing I want to show you um, that these figures come with before we start doing comparison is they come with these little um, build lists, which, as I said, I didn't show this earlier before the video because it's not really needed. Uh, but it just kind of shows you how all the parts work. So... There you go. How the parts work, how they go, should you decide to take them apart. Uh, then on the back, we have a colorized version of that list. Checklist there with the Wind Raider and the Human Skeletor figures. So there you go. Alright, so I kept saying I'm going to do some comparison. Let's go ahead and do some comparison. So let's do He-Man first. We'll get all the He-Man out here. And here you can see the two, um, the original uh, stands, and then the cheapo stands <laughs> that came with Wind Raider and Castle Grey Skull. So yeah, I mean, these are these are really, really cool. So he, we have here uh, the new He-Man, and of course, because of the stand, he's talling, standing taller than the others. Uh, then we have uh, this He-Man. Which this one, I believe, is based on the action figure. The original action figure. And this was our first He-Man. Uh, this one, let's see. Um, this one... Well, this one came with the Wind Raider, because he only has his axe. Uh, this one is going to be based more on the mini-comic He-Man. This one right here. This is the one that came with Castle Grayskull. So, which leads me to believe that this one... Hmm. You know, I'm not exactly sure what one that's... <laughs> hmm. Well, let's see. We have mini-comic. We have vintage action figure. We've got Filmation, He-Man. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I 
He's He-Man. But we have four of them. Four different ones to display. So not too bad. Pretty cool. We're going to move He-Man out of the way. We're going to bring back our uh, Beast Man here. We're going to give him back the whip. There we go. All right. Now these, I I know these I know. So we have our um, we have our normal we have our toy style vintage toy style Beast Man here. We have the first Beast Man that was released in the line. Uh, this one is I used to think this one was actually the toy line one until this one came out. Um, I don't know, he's just a cool looking beast man. But then we have one of my, the one that I really, really like is this one right here, the mini comic beast man. And you're like, well, he's all red. Well, he's supposed to be this color. That was his original appearance in the comics. But here he is with all his whips and all his different colors. And this poor guy got the short end of the stand, really. <laughs> but uh, they look really, really cool. I absolutely love the mega constructs. Um, action figures um this is quite possibly one of my favorite toy lines at the moment uh masters universe related and of course we have the new uh five and five quarter yeah, five five in five point five inch figures coming soon um from mattel uh i can't wait for those of course i'll be buying them and reviewing them all but this is from the He-Man vs. Beast-Man um, Mega Constructs. Uh, that's something I really wasn't expecting them to do. And it'd be nice if they did more two-packs. And I guess this is the way just so you can get some of the main characters uh, that you missed out on in the individually. So, and it's weird that they used He-Man and Beast-Man. Because I would suspect it would be He-Man and Skeletor, Man-at-Arms and Beast-Man, Teela and Evil Lynn. Um... I'm trying to remember who all we have in this line already. <laughs> I know Faker's in there. We have a couple of Faker figures. But this line is really cool. I absolutely love this. So, individual figures run for about $5. The two-pack is $2. It's like $2. My God. $10. Um, and, of course, we're going to be getting some more vehicles. They just showed off uh, or coming soon. I pre-ordered, actually. Uh, I believe it was uh, Big Bad Toys. And I pre-ordered the uh, Rotan, uh, Talon Fighter, and then uh, we're getting uh, Battle Cat. And the cool thing is we're actually getting some newer figures in this. We're getting Zodak in this lot, in that bunch, along with Merman. Uh, so that's going to be really, really cool. Of course, we're going to get um, some repainted figures as well. We're going to get uh, we're getting Battle Cat, of course. We're going to get another repaint of He-Man. We're going to get actually our first repaint of the Sorceress in her white uh, outfit. So that's going to be really cool. And of course, I'll show those off here uh, on Retro John on YouTube, which is where you should be liking right now. And if you're, it's your first time to the channel or you come and, and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button for me. Helps me out. I likes it a lot. And comment down below what you think of this current line. Until next time, Retro John is out. May the power of Grayskull protect you.